So I got here the Samsung Chromebook Plus and I've been using this for the last months and it's absolutely awesome. This is the coolest piece of technology in the whole world. Pretty close. I mean, there's two or three things that maybe they could have done better, like the price could have been a little bit lower. 449 is a little bit high. Um, there's maybe one or two other things that I've, um, maybe I can talk about in this video. So, oh, where is he going? Okay, okay, let's get back here. So, uh, right here, I have all these adapters that you can connect with USB Type-C. So, for example, one of these that I got right here, this one got um, HDMI, USB Type-C, four USB 2 ports, and also uh, pass-through. You can, ch I can charge it with the Type-C, so, I can use just one port to do my gigabit ethernet. I can connect the hard drives. I had to get a bunch of these. If you come down here, I had to get a bunch of these uh, small adapters to do Type-C to normal USB, because then you can connect hard drive, for example. And I got one of those also, um, Type-C type -C to, uh, to SD card slot. So it's important for me to do my video. So I put the SD card right here and I transfer over to a hard drive. So about that, uh, I was hoping that the performance would be as fast as like an Intel laptop to transfer files from the SD card to the hard drive. I'm not totally 100% sure if that's working yet. So I need to do a little bit more testing, but I mean, usually right now what I have to do is just leave it all, uh, like transferring 120 gigabytes or more. I let it transfer over like half an hour or an hour or something. I was hoping for it to be as fast, but I don't know. Maybe there's some, something about the bandwidth from this side to that side. I'm not totally sure about that. Another thing that I was really hoping to do, and I think it's actually Google's, Google need to work on this, is the apps. So we got a bunch of apps and I installed a bunch of apps. I got a power director, for example. I got a KineMaster. I was really hoping to be able to do 4K video editing, but right now, I'm not totally sure it's working. So I've not been able to do any 4K video editing right now yet. Uh, for example, iOS has an app that's called LumaFusion, uh, which I saw on the Photo Joseph's channel. Uh, LumaFusion is amazing. It supports 4K, but it's only for the Apple A8, A9, A9X processor. So it's only optimized for Apple, it's only for iOS, but Google is the biggest company in the world. So come on, they need to get these apps to really work. And another app that's not here is uh, if I go in Play Store, let me go right now in Play Store, Google Play, okay, I'm going to type in uh, Microsoft, I'm going to take Microsoft Office, Office Mobile, okay, it says your device isn't compatible with this version, I mean, come on, Google Microsoft, sit down, go to the cafe, go to the bar, go to the restaurant, sit down, be friends. You need to be able to install Microsoft Office on this device. Uh, that's kind of like important. So I'm talking video editor, uh, Office apps. Of course, there's lots of other Office apps and I install a whole bunch of other ones, which are fine. But you know, Microsoft Office is kind of famous as an Office app. So let's have Microsoft Office work. I can, in, I can silo the APK, I can go in developer mode. But that's not okay. I don't want to go into developer mode of the whole Chromebook just so I can sideload Office, Popcorn Time, and a few other apps that are not in the Play Store. So uh, in an Android device, you just tick a little box and then you can install whatever you want. So it should be that easier. So Google, please optimize a little bit. And there, you check, if you come a little bit closer here again, I'm going to show you the, there's this thing called the file browser, okay? The file browser is all the files that you can see in Chrome. Okay, those are all the files. But if I do something in an Android app, it doesn't show up there. So if I edit some images in an image editor, I save it. How do I actually use the Chrome browser to upload? Right now, it, they're like separate. The Android part and the Chrome part is separate. That's a little bit, you know, uh, hopefully they'll fix that because uh, if you come closer again, uh, let's, let's open, I can open, uh, if I open, let me open this one. Here I'm opening PowerDirector, for example, okay? It's a full screen app. I can do it as a window right here, okay? So I can do my Chrome and have it as a window, but still, they need to optimize a little bit more how you do all these multitasking. Um, I mean, and this, is, this is, should be a priority for Google, not only for this Chromebook, of course, this is a real first Android for productivity. This is Android for keyboard and mouse. 
which is very, very, very important. But there's still a few things they need to do. I think it's just a question of apps. Okay, we just need those apps so we can do all these things. In terms of hardware, it's pretty much perfect. Hopefully, um, uh, the memory bandwidth is fast enough for transferring files. Not totally sure. And another thing they need to do, if you can come cl closer right here. Okay, this pen is totally awesome. Okay, it comes out. There's this menu right here. Capture region, capture screen, laser pointer mode, uh, magnifying glass, new note. Okay, this needs to be uh, customizable. I want to be able to have some more advanced functions right here. People that take the pen out, they should be able to collaborate with other people in through apps and collaborate on, on articles and documents. Uh, I, I need to be able to, when I do a screenshot, one of the things I always do is I want to do is take a screenshot, okay? Um, right here. Okay, uh, well, I got it right here. Okay, but if I if I take a screenshot, it's gonna save in a PNG file. Uh, I want and the files sometimes are more than two megabytes, so I cannot use them as thumbnails. I don't have to mess around with a, a JPEG compressor online based. I can't even use an Android based uh, because then if I save the file, I can't get access to it in a browser again. Uh, so there's this firewall between Android and Chrome. Uh, they need to really get that a little bit better integrated. But I want to be able to save a JPEG, for example, a smaller file, so I can use it as a thumbnail and not have to compress it through Sumo Paint on the internet. So there's a few things that maybe they can improve, but I think it's mostly in terms of the integration of Android and Chrome OS. Otherwise, this device is so fantastic, but I'm in, I'm in London, okay? I'm in London right now, and there is no it's not possible to buy this. I'm the only one here who has one in Europe. It's not okay. I mean, Samsung, what's going on? Samsung, why are you not selling this in Europe? Okay, so uh, that's the main issue, I would say also, is that it's not available. People cannot even buy it. So, I mean, that's pretty downer. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll be doing more videos later because I expect this to be fixed when they integrate Android 7. I hope they have it very soon, Android 7 better integration and Google has said that every Chromebook is going to have Android apps. Let's see because there's a few things they have to tweak. Hopefully they cancel Chromebook Pro with the Core M because uh, Android doesn't work on Intel x86. So, well, but we'll see. Maybe it will come out because some people, are, we will see. They might cancel it. I think they, they might, we'll see if they cancel it or not. Okay, but thanks for watching. Uh, this is great. This is the future of, of Chrome and the future of Android, both actually. And uh, more stuff like the Samsung DeX is gonna come out with this kind of productivity is also gonna be powered by your smartphone. Okay, that's great. Thanks for watching.